We caught a heli bump 20 miles north of the highway following the Matanuska Glacier into the center of the Chugach Mountains into a zone referred to as the Scandinavian Peaks. Perched just off the Scandinavian Glacier is an A-frame hut built and maintained by the Mountaineering Club of Alaska that we would call home for the next four nights. The hut provided easy living juxtaposed to the largely inhospitable glaciated area it was set in. From there, the plan was to explore and ski as much as we could. Since we didn't have to worry about carrying the weight on our backs, we brought in all the luxury items we wanted. Oh, man. Kitchen, crap load of fuel, table, and then off to something. Second like part of the group coming in. Dust in the mountains now. We poked around camp a little bit before we're gearing up and heading out to go explore to the pass. Thousand five hundred and fifty feet. Huh, okay. Higher than I would have thought. We skied off the pass before heading to the next valley south of us underneath Iceland Peak. Welcome site after a long tour. Is anyone nervous yet? All that residual <laughs> ash down there. Why is it? Well, the last video was cut short because the lantern was leaking like crazy and we were worried it was about to all go up in a giant fireball, so it was hastily chunked outside. But that didn't stop us from settling into what would eventually become our nightly routine of intense games of chess and filling our bellies. Second morning here at the hut. Waking up to another beautiful day. Whew, a little windy though. We got this guy outside. Because we started to try and use it the other night and it was leaking like a sieve. Pretty lucky we didn't start a fire, honestly. Have you 
keep this consistent in direction. Yeah. Yeah. Windy now. Your boss right here. I think we should, let's do it. We're doing that again, Andy. Oh man, Primo. Look at those big turns. Lunch time. So, I think I just get track back to the hut and head home. Day three. Weather looking uh, up the Scandinavian doesn't look horrible, but my turn. Looking up the mat towards Mar Marcus Baker. Getting socked in pretty well up there, which I'm afraid where that's where the weather's coming from. So. This may not look that good here in a little bit, but maybe it'll stay protected. If not. Day three. Captain's log. Yeah, I know. It's a little chillier today, but not too bad. Up we go to the other side. Well, wait for the rest of the guys to get up to the pass. Um, well, I don't know how much you want to call it a pass, but a little, little sneak line to get up. Uh, I think we're going to go, let's see if I can put it in the background. Oh, oh wrong way. We're going to go up in there and uh, get a longer mellow run. It does look pretty windblown to me, but I guess we'll see what it looks like. The other option is to uh, Descend down lower, and there's some kind of mini golf style uh, uh, little shoots that we can uh, jump on. So we'll see what happens when everybody gets up here. Andy climbing up the little rock shoot, I made everybody go up. Joe is real happy about it. That's a cool peak. Really cool hang glitch there. Headed down the glacier for one final run for the evening. Rock 
there. Up top. Yeah, I heard one of them. What's the name of that one across the, the map? I don't know. Do you know for us? Across the map? I don't know. <clears throat> Day four. Getting picked up most likely today, so we're going to go check out the snow cave and then uh, do some more skiing. Beautiful day again. It's like a monster's mouth with teeth from the icicles. Just hundreds of years at work. <laughs> Big crack to who knows how deep. We snapped a quick group photo and uh, got to work on building a jump out of the cave. Wasn't huge because there wasn't a big run up, but it was still pretty fun. Then we headed back down to a cooler we've been looking at from camp. Yep. Anything? I haven't seen anything move yet. I haven't seen anything move yet. Dug a pit to make sure snow conditions were conducive and uh, made the decision to boot on up. My hand hurt. And those moraines make the Matt Glacier so pretty. I guess I'll take these off before I whack you in the head. I'd be appreciated. Another cooler separated by this snowfield. Kind of spooky looking just going up into nothing in the clouds, you know. One final lap in the sun. Yeah. Hey, hey. Is, that a, is that a moraine right there? Down low? Kind of going up this way? It looks rocky. Uh, like another I think it's just a, a, a band of rock. I don't think it's a moraine. Okay. It looks too steep. Right as we were about to get picked up, the ceiling descended on us and weather started to push in. Not flying out today. Coming down now. I don't think we're flying anywhere tonight. Well, last morning here, it's beautiful. Got our gear piled up to get picked up and head on out of here.
snow at first. Thanks to the guys keeping us safe on the way in and out and uh, capping the trip off with a pretty sweet uh, flight out.